How's it going and welcome to the channel. My name is Philip, and I will be your host. Today's video is geared towards cleaning your older PC prior to the sale. I will go over both detailed physical cleaning so the buyer gets a nice looking machine and cleaning the system prior to handing it off to a stranger. So you want to back up what is needed and do a complete fresh wipe of the system. Let's move on to the physical cleaning first. If the PC has been sitting for a while, you want to make sure that everything works in it. Go to the device manager and verify that you don't have any issues on any of the components. Make sure that all disks are working and all RAM is registered correctly and at the correct speed. If something is malfunctioning, it could be fixed by troubleshooting a connection. Like if one of the USB ports on the front panel does not work, that can be addressed during the cleaning process. Once the functionality is fully confirmed, power the PC down and unplug the power cable. Now is the time to open up the case and clean out all of the dust and the tumbleweeds accumulated inside over the years. Open the side panel and get your canned air ready. Depending on the amount of dirt, you can use a vacuum or you can blow it all out with compressed air. After the main clouds of dust have settled, take out any cards plugged in into the motherboard to have more room to clean. If any of your other plugged in equipment has fans or heat sinks, it's best to unplug them and clean them during this process too. Clean all of the fans on both sides. If it's a tight fit, use Q-tips to break up the dirt and then use the combination of compressed air and vacuum to clean it up. Make sure to thoroughly clean the GPU. Graphics cards frequently come with multiple fans and all must be cleaned. In my case, I have an older PC build with a dual card setup bridged with a SLI. Both of the cards have two fans each. As I mentioned earlier, if you have any non-working ports or equipment, now is your time to see if the corresponding cables are plugged in. I found my non-working USB port issue instantly. The cable was simply not plugged in. If you look on the motherboard, you will see markings identifying connections. I found an empty USB port connection and plugged it in. If your motherboard does not have writing, you can Google the manual by the model number and it will have every connection identified. If any of your drives were giving you issues with connection, you can unplug them and plug them back in. That usually resolves the issue. This is also a great time to take pictures of the inside of the case for the sale listing. After you verify that everything is cleaned and plugged in, power the PC back on and make sure that everything is working and all the fans are spinning. I did it with an open case so I can visually confirm the operation of all of the fans. If your case has a glass side, this inspection can be done when it is fully closed. Now we move on to the process of wiping the PC to erase our existing files beyond the point of recovery and to have a fresh and clean Windows experience for the new user. Make sure to install any updates that the computer is asking you to do. If you want to back up your files before erasing the whole hard drive, make sure to go into the bottom left corner of the screen and just type in backup and that will bring up this screen. The Windows utility allows you to back up to an external drive or to use OneDrive service. Once all of the needed files have been saved and you are ready for the final clean, type reset in the search bar and go into the settings that pop up on the screen. Click get started under reset this PC. Since you are selling this PC, you want to select remove everything. This option ensures the computer is cleaned properly. Do a complete wipe. Even if you are gifting or donating this PC, a lot of your personal data is stored in various parts of the system and you don't want anyone to be able to rebuild this information after they have your machine. On the additional settings screen, click change settings and turn on both of the options given to you, data erasure and data drives. The data drives option shows up only if you have multiple hard drives installed. If you have only one drive, you will have just one thing to turn on, data erasure. Click reset and leave the computer doing its thing. This process ensures that none of your files or user profiles remain behind. 
so the only thing that's left is the barebone Windows with its basic set of apps. Once the process starts, it can take several hours to complete. Don't freak out if the status gets stuck on some point for an hour or two. During this process, the computer checks all hard disks for errors and fixes them, then installs a fresh copy of Windows. When the process is finished and the blue setup screen comes on, you're done and you can power off the PC. Now it is ready to be sold to the next happy user who will be greeted with a standard Windows out of the box experience setup screen where they will be able to create their profile and the PC is fully theirs. Now just take some good pictures of what you are selling, add a full list of the build specifications and you are ready to list it for sale. Don't forget to price it according to the current state of technology and not the market price of all of the parts combined. For example, this PC was a flagship build in 2013 or 14. And if I search for all of the parts, they're still being sold. Some of them are still relatively expensive, especially the GPU. The MSRP for it in 2013 was $250. And in 2020, seven years later, it is still being sold on Amazon in a used condition for $225. So make sure not to overprice your PC or it will take forever to sell. Here's the list of specs for my retired setup. How much is it worth in your opinion? How much do you think I should have listed it for in 2020? Hit me up in the comments. I'm interested to see what you would have listed it for. And we have arrived at the end of this quick tutorial. I hope you found it useful and now you know what to do with your PC before selling it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to be notified when the new videos come out. It's been fun hanging out with you, I'll see you guys soon.